is our day one and a half ish in Miami. This is our first um, morning here. Uh, we got here yesterday. Yesterday when we got off the plane, we went to this Cuban restaurant. It was aight. It was recommended, um, but I didn't feel like, the food wasn't bad, but I didn't really feel like it was all that special. We ate there and then we just kind of chilled. Came back to the hotel, freshened up, and then we went out to dinner. Um, we guys walked around in the Coconut Grove area, which is where we're staying at the, all, where, where's this, where, I don't know what the hotel's called, but I'll leave it down here as well. Um, but we walked around Coconut Grove, went to a bar, had like a few drinks, had some ice cream, um, and just walked around, nothing, nothing special. Um, but today we're gonna go to the beach, which my bikini top for us to go. Um, and then we may go to um, this car collection place that Kenny wanted to check out. Um, and yeah, we have no plan for once. I have no plan, um, so we're just kind of winging it. Winging it. Winging it today. Um, and she excited. Yeah. And it right. Yes. Okay. Um, we're winging it and, but. It's not a time crunch. No time crunch. We have like another full day here, um, so. We're just gonna go explore. Where, are you gonna bring your swim trunks or is that your swim trunks? I'll swim in these dry cuts. Okay. Like dry cuts. Wherever it is in my Where the lotion? Uh, wherever you put it. You gave it to me. My outfit of the day. Top is from, oh, this will help if I move this. Um, top is from Zara. I think I got this when I was in France. But I'm sure every Zara probably has these basic um, tanks. These are from Luke and Gray. Luke and Gray is on an active site at the moment, but this is from Aspen's um, Aspen Ovard's online clothing store. Um, Luke and Gray, and then these are my new New Balances that I just purchased from. I believe these are from American Eagle, if I had to guess. And yeah, sunglasses. I left my sunglasses in the car, but luckily I brought an extra pair. These aren't my fave, but they will they will work. Outfit, air pasta. <laughs> Outfit, air pasta. Kenny Cole shorts. <laughs> Walmart black socks. <laughs> and shoes. And Nike Air Max from Fort Seal. <laughs> Fort Seal, Oklahoma. <laughs> nice. And we're ready. say the pool the pool looked way nicer on the pictures but it's still really pretty and a very nice view oh this is the um I wonder can you take these out of the thing and we can bring them back oh wait nope do not remove towels for the pool area <laughs> JK <laughs> all right we tried we'll buy some all right but anyway, it smells so good though oh, copyright Hotel Araya, it's called Hotel Araya, that's what it's called. It's so quiet. I was not expecting this. It's so pretty over there. We got jet skis going on. Everybody's just chilling. See how much it costs to get a chair. Sandy. Actually, that's a lie because I'm not I'm not gonna get all the way in. Yeah. Jet skis. The last time we did a jet, the last time we um, rode jet skis was in Mississippi, huh? Yeah. We like we yeah. stopped on the side of the road and like let's just go, and we literally drove the whole way rest of the home wet. And then the next day I was so sore for like a week. From it takes a lot of like muscle to do to jet ski, but I don't. And it's Parasol. scarier. Would you parasol? Yeah, we do. I saw an article where their parasol line snapped and then I was like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that anymore. I think you probably have to go over there. Okay. All right, okay. Look at that hunk of a fella right there. Break me off a piece of that. <laughs> then we might what? We might have to go goddamn chest in 30 minutes. Why? I don't know. It's a hundred dollars for thirty minutes. Yeah. Well, we're not in Mississippi, so. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna do it? We can do it. Right, so the vibe here is definitely what I was looking for. I mean, the construction in the background—we can ignore that. But 
It's so nice and calm and quiet. Yeah, you're right. You're riding around on a little thing too, and the car was huge. Yeah, they are. They are not planned. They are not planned. So if you are planning to come out here for spring break, don't even think about it. Find somewhere else to go. <laughs> they are not playing out here. There's a cop. There's like cops on every street. Two posted up at all times. You will be arrested. You will 1,000% be arrested if you, if you don't follow the rules. Yeah. And the beach closes six o'clock. Beach closes at six o'clock. As soon as the sun goes down, that's a wrap. Don't even think about it. Everybody gonna come. Yep. Downtown. And then you can't buy alcohol after eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Not gonna happen. So you better get your own. You better ring your own. Get your own. Go to a restaurant or get it before. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Not happening. Not happening in this town. Yeah. Nope. The mayor. The mayor's not playing. We have officially abandoned Miami and we're in Fort Lauderdale. We're about to go eat at this Korean barbecue place. A lot of the locals in Miami say that they come to Fort Lauderdale for their beaches. So we'll see, we'll ride around here while the traffic dies down. The traffic, oh yeah, and y'all's driving is terrible by the way. It's worse than Atlanta. I, I've always known that Florida, Florida traffic is not the best man, anyway, but it's like, Unstable, man. Wait on the highway, riding on the show at seventy miles an hour. What did you do that? Just to get to the stop sign. It wasn't even yeah. to go anywhere. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Alright, that's one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no. How was your first Korean barbecue experience? It's good. Yeah. Different? Different. Yeah, unique. <laughs> I used to go to Korean barbecue when I was in high school. Religiously, high school and college, my friends and I used to go on Fridays after school, like, and stay out all night just eating. Not clubbing, but eating. <laughs> guys welcome back to the vlog we're getting our day started um today we're gonna head to bris biscay national park i think that is oh someone's at the door who is it you ready to go oh hi it's my husband yes uh, let's go <laughs> going to briskane i think it's biscay or briskane national park and they said most of it is underwater Down or down? <laughs> when you drive a whole hour to, <laughs> to go to Waffle House, but in our defense, the Bis Biscayne National Park or Biscayne State Park, whatever it is, whichever one it is, it's only 15 minutes away. So I justified it. Um, that's justified, right? We drove a whole hour to go to yeah, uh, Waffle House. It's okay. It's okay. It's only 15 minutes away. Yes, yeah, 15 minutes away, but it takes you fucking seven. Yeah, it's not even that many miles. For some reason, it just takes forever out here to go anywhere. It's like an hour. 22 miles is an hour. A whole go. hour. It's the traffic, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, right. Anyways, you say what? To go to Fort Lauderdale? Yeah. I know, it took us like an hour to go to Fort Lauderdale, and without traffic, it would have been 20 minutes, yeah. if that. Yeah. If that. Right. Chocolate chip waffle, egg fried car, toast. Hash browns and bacon. That's the breakfast of champions. Got raisin toast, egg, bacon. Yes. That in your grits? No. I never seen you do that. Mm. Does it add like an extra mm. flavor or something? Extra little flavor, you know. Mm -hmm. Grits bowl. A grit bowl? <laughs> All I need is cheese. Mm -hmm. I like cheese in mine. Yeah, cheese would be good, but.
we finally made it. The rain just stopped. It poured like the bottom fell out. And um, so we waited in the car for like 10 minutes. But Florida weather in its finest, it it um, rains and then it stops like pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, but we just made it to the park, Biscayne National Park. Apparently this is the national park that protects the only um, coral reef in the United States. That's where I read or saw it somewhere. So pretty cool, but the view is awesome. So you want to go kayaking? And I'm trying to convince Kenny. It's a well, sorry. I'm trying to convince Kenny to uh, go kayaking with me over there. All the way up there. Somehow I always get him into these situations. Okay. <laughs> 